All right, we're back with GeoGuessr. Um, today is our uh, third of our U.S. State Street Challenge. Um, we've, we're, we're up to 17 consecutive, and we're going to keep this going for today. And then the next episode, we're going to move on to uh, another challenge. So let's see how we do. Let's start with uh, our first date. Okay, um, out in the middle of nowhere again. Let's head east. Curly. Population 178. <laughs> I doubt there's a McDonald's in Hurley. Interesting. Where do we see those letter roads like that? Is that Missouri? Where did we see those letter roads? No, it wasn't. It was over here in the south. So, you know, this is bothering me more than just being dumped out in the middle of nowhere. Just to click our way through to the next town. Is that I remember we had a state with letter roads. And I can't remember now which one it was. I thought it was Missouri. A and C, C. Let's see, this bugs me to no end. <laughs> Going back to Rhode Island. This is frustrating because I know when I saw the A back there, it was like, I know I've been to this state before. We've done this. Not, I think, I mean, in this game, I've been to this state. I thought in our first video we had something that was like, uh, it was like M. Look, M O A B. And it was along here. There we go. Why? I just didn't zoom in enough. W. It's Missouri. Yep. Yeah, I could have saved myself about what. Mm, five minutes or so of clicking. And if there's other states that have those letters like that, let me know. I'm curious, but this is the second time we've come across Missouri. All right, so where are we? Provo, Utah. I like the easy ones. Round three. That's uh, 19 total for those of you counting at home. We've had this plate before too, I think. I think we were in the Dakotas.
Oh no, Alaska. Never mind. I know we've had that before, but I don't remember Alaska. But these look like they could kind of be. I don't know. They just seem to be like kind of like cheapy wilderness type homes. You know, camp like things. Alright, Alaska. Alaska it is. Alright. Knocking them out. It's 20. Um, this looks like that place, um, outside of BC again, that school, but hard to tell, could be any college. Nice, well-kept campus area. Let's see what it says here. Oops. Uh -huh. It's not letting me go up here. JFK Student Center. Not sure what that is up there. That symbol. I mean, JFK, you'd think mass, but uh, there's plenty of JFK. St. Francis University. Okay, we're well, at St. Francis, but what state is that in? St. Mary, St. Peter, boy, this is definitely Catholicville, isn't it? That looks like a Pennsylvania plate. I'm not sure about that one. 814, though. How old is this one, Google? Where's your copyright? 2022? What? 299. The hell? It's a throwback in time, right? St. Paul, St. Mary. No separation of church and state here, is there? First Street. They ran out of saints, or it wasn't done, it wasn't dignified or worthy enough. <laughs> like which state, which saint are you gonna uh, change First Street to? A lesser saint? I don't know if you can do that. Chess Springs, Evansburg. That's Pennsylvania. Yep. Boom, Pennsylvania. The uh, historical marker gave it away, but 
Like I said, I saw a couple plates that looked like Pennsylvania. I just wasn't, uh, the 814 area code just didn't register with me. Um, I lived up in here, down in here, worked in here. Um, I went to Penn State games in here. Um, but yeah, this is probably the one area of Pennsylvania that I never spent any time in. All right, we're up to four. It's 21. Uh, let's see. Uh, we're gonna go up this way real quick. I kind of, I think I should go this way, but I wanna see what this is up here. No, it's just, I see there's like a spire or something off in the distance that's pretty tall. That's a church for sure, but, oops, something happened there with the Google car. Uh, Seymour. Neighborhood garden. That's nice. It's a nice looking community. Nice homes, older homes. Bungay Elementary. Seymour, Seymour. Oh, Connecticut. All right, I have no idea. This is one of those where you just click and click and click and eventually you just hit it. So, great seal of the state of Connecticut. And there we are. That's five. Okay, now we're out in the middle of nowhere. Maybe. Let's see, bus. Kalispell School District. Kalispell. Kalispell, Montana. Thank you, truck. Alright. That was 23. Now we're out in the desert. This could be, this could be Vegas, Henderson, could be much of California, could be parts of Arizona. I lived in the neighborhood like this in Vegas. Had a house like this in Vegas. That looks like Arizona. Yeah, that's Arizona. Do we take a guess and just say Arizona? Yes. And it's Arizona. Okay. We're at 24, and I think we're gonna go for one more. <laughs> and this would be 25. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. This is flat. And pray there's a little sign on the side of the road. I mean, I, you know, I like a challenge, but I also don't want to click 200 times to just get through some of this here. See, now we're coming up into some rocky canyon-like areas. 
gosh. I mean, again, this, this is... Utah, so California, Nevada, could be further up north. This could be, uh, you know, Idaho, Washington, Montana, Wyoming. Pretty damn flat. That's the thing. I don't think it's necessarily. Well, I shouldn't say that. This definitely, yeah, this could be Utah, Northern Arizona, somewhere in there. We are out there. You see, when I see stuff like this, I just... I tend to think we might be further north. You know, like we might be up in up in here in Wyoming, Idaho, Nevada, Utah, North, and then the, in the little canyon area. I'm thinking between here, Utah, and Arizona, there's a lot of there's a lot of like little canyon things that the roads kind of cut through. Um, I mean, possibly New Mexico. I don't think it's Southern Colorado, although that's kind of scrubby like this. But this is just super flat. Which is why I'm thinking more in this stretch in here. I mean, it's really flat. Congestion. Snowy congestion. Jordan Valley, McDermott, 95. All right. All right. Alright, so 95 would be, here's 93, here's 95, yeah, see, here we are, Idaho, in here, and we're 56 miles from the border, there's McDermott, 68, yeah, so we are in Oregon, yes. Oh, wow, I thought that was going to be brutal. Yeah, I'm, I was thinking more over here, like Wyoming. Um, it tells you something about Oregon. I mean, when you saw just how, you know, that was all the way up from Nevada, which I thought it could have been Nevada. Um, a lot of desolate. I, I thought here in Nevada, though, you start seeing mountains off in the distance. Um, and when you go Nevada over to Salt Lake, there's a lot of like mountainous areas and then there's flats and all that but yeah I didn't realize it extended all the way up here into Oregon um, it's a that's quite a state I mean when you have the mountains and the, a lot of the trees and forests and all that and then down here it's pretty much desolate it was pretty interesting okay so that put us at 25 so I think we're going to end our state uh, street challenge here at 25 that's a good number to end at um, it was fun um, I enjoyed it, and I'm looking forward to uh, doing uh, a new challenge um, soon. So um, if you haven't already, appreciate uh, like, subscribe, uh, hit the notify button so you'll get notified when we do our next GeoGuessr episode and other things we do on the channel. And um, appreciate your support, and I look forward to our next GeoGuessr round. <laughs>